Hi guys, Larissa here on um, Your Labor Nurse. I'm here to put out some new content about a BPP or a biophysical profile. This kind of goes hand in hand with that NST or the non-stress test video that I posted earlier. So I'm going to be talking through that. Always my little disclaimer, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not here to give medical advice. I'm only putting information out there so you can feel educated as you um, go through your labor journey. So biophysical profile, what is it? What is it measuring? All that kind of stuff. So if you watch my non-stress test video, you see that that's looking at baby's heart rate and giving us a picture of what baby looks like. A biophysical profile kind of takes it a step farther and we're looking at a more in-depth picture of baby because this includes an ultrasound. So the NST was just the fetal heart rate and things like that. And now we're gonna be looking at baby through imaging to see how baby's doing. So if there were any concerns, maybe if a non-stress test was non-reactive, um, maybe if the baby is showing um, signs of, of not doing well, the doctor will do this to make sure um, that baby is still looking okay and this will give them a better picture of what's happening. So BPPs are measured in eight out of eight, out of eight or 10 out of 10. It depends on how the um, hospital talks about it or how the floor talks about it, but I'm going to distinguish the both so that you kind of understand why sometimes it's a 8 out of 8 points and why sometimes it's out of 10 points. So if it's out of 10 points, there are five different categories. Each category is either an all or nothing score. So maybe either it's a zero, which means didn't fulfill that requirement, or it's a two, meaning that they passed that requirement. So the first thing they look at is fetal breathing movements. They want to see baby breathing. That's your first score. The second score for baby is gross body movements. Um, so what they're looking for is three or more body or limb movements. Okay. The third score that they're looking for is at least one episode of an extension and a flexion. Um, so the baby of the limbs and the trunk. So they have to extend and then they have to return to the flexion. They have to see at least one of those. The other thing that they're looking for is the amniotic fluid. They want to, they measure the pockets of the amniotic fluid. In case you want to know the measurements, they need at least one pocket of fluid that is a greater than one centimeter in at least two different perpendicular planes. I know, lots of information, but basically, there's enough amniotic fluid around baby to give it that bounce in the fluid that it needs so that it's not in kind of a dry sack, more or less. Um, so those are the four components. The last one for the 10 out of 10 is actually uh, a non-stress test. So the first four are completed using an ultrasound and the last one is that non-stress test. So if a uh, hospital talks about the score out of an eight, it's just not including the non-stress test. If it talks about a score out of a 10, it's including a reactive non-stress test for, or a non-reactive. So they're gonna look at all five of those categories and then baby is gonna get a score, either, at eight out, either out of eight points or out of 10 points. If it's out of 10 points, ideally we want baby to be eight, an eight to a 10. So, I mean, baby's not gonna be perfect, so we have some wiggle room, but we're looking for a baby that is an eight, nine, or a 10, ideally. Again, um, this isn't something you need to be concerned about, but I just want you to know what a BPP is. So if you hear two out of 10, baby doesn't have a whole lot of reserve and the doctor is gonna be considering um, maybe changing the plan of care and doing some things in order to help baby. So keep those things in mind. Again, something to discuss with your doctor. So this is just so that you know what a BPP is, what to expect, what they're gonna come and read, what they're measuring and looking for. A doctor will then follow up with you to decide, hey, this is what the score was and this is what we need to do here on out in order to either just continue to monitor or continue, consider changing um, what the current plan was for your labor. So always feel free to post questions before. That's all I got for you on a BPP. Um, and yeah, 